Hey guys, it's Robin from Consistent Life Balance and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I finally completed my this year's detox program, my detox program of 2023. And as you know, I do it every single year. I take one month out of the year, which I commit towards detoxification, cleansing, self-healing. And that has allowed me to create a really, really good level of health and vitality over the past years and I still continue doing it because it's so powerful and in this video I want to give you a summary and conclusion of my this year's detox program. I want to talk about my results, about the benefits which happened. I want to talk about some disadvantages, some, some things, some weaknesses uh, and also some learnings I, I um, got from it and also yeah you also see a little update from my body how it looks and how I will continue now after I completed everything so I would like to start with summarizing everything and I and I would say let's go I started on the 25th of June then I started with three days of water fasting 10 days of juice feasting, only fresh pressed juices. And in these 10 days, I also had one day of water fasting again. So a 40, 14 day solid food vacation, a combination of juice feasting and water fasting. Afterwards, I did five days juice plus one fruit meat a day. Then five days of juice plus two free fruit meals and then four days so in total 14 days refeeding period in the last four days i did juice primary vegetable juice first then a fruit meal mono fruit meal high water content and then in the evening a more complex meal still raw of course but something like greens a set a lettuce lettuce salad with avocado some small amounts of nuts and seeds or some hemp protein and i also got in i stayed low fat um, for the whole refeeding period and yeah this was a very great transition so when i'm done with all the detox program i'm ready for most of the food groups because i slowly put back back in solid food with the one meal, then the two meal, and then the two more complex meals in the evening. That has worked really, really well. And yeah, how I'm feeling right now after completing this solid food vacation. It's a great feeling. It's a very great feeling that you set something, a goal in your mind. You have a vision and then you do it exactly like your plan. And that's also how it's, that's also the, the, how success happens. So success is when something is happening which you created in your mind and then you get into action and also create, create it and just, just do it. Yes. So that's of course, from the mental standpoint, a really good thing. And then also physically, I have lots of energy. I feel very, very good, even though I have to be honest, it was not the greatest situation with sleep because quality was perfect, but the quantity was not so ideal because I am right now involved in so many different projects. I'm working on so diff many different things regarding also my coaching and some other projects. And of some days it was like, I want to go to bed, I'm, I'm tired, but then there's some projects, some, some things I want to complete on this day. And then sometimes it's not enough sleep. So this is definitely uh, some weakness. I can, can say that, that I can improve my sleep the next time to get mm, very steadily throughout the whole process um, enough sleep because this would even boost up the results so far. But yeah, I'm feeling really good. Performance is uh, going up again. It's pretty good. And I, I didn't lose a lot of muscle mass. I lo lost a little bit in my legs. So I got a little weaker in the squats, in the, in the Romanian deadlifts. But in general, regarding my upper body, I same repetitions, same weight. So I do bench pressing with 100 kilograms and I also do the incline bench press. I do all the, the, the different exercises I normally do like rows, like pull-ups, chin-ups, lateral pull-downs. So no, no 
decline there, same reps, same weight with the upper body, but I always lose a little bit in my legs. So it's interesting how the intelligence of the body works, that it first goes to the legs and decreases a little bit the muscle there to get, to get, get some cal more calories from, from it uh, over the gluconeogenesis, because sometimes, of course, when you do water fasting, you're just in a very um, strong deficit and your body has to compensate for it. But also that, it's not, it's not much. It's not much, I only lost a little bit. So for example, I did 115 kilogram deep squat as to grass, very great technique for five repetitions, five repetitions for three sets. And now, for example, in this exercise in squats, where in the exercise which I lost the most performance, I only um, get three times three, so not five times three, so not five repetitions for three sets, but I get three repetitions for three sets, so two, two reps lower than in the beginning. So definitely a decline there, but not that much. I can very quickly build it up how it was and, and, and I can even go further and build up my performance, yes. So regarding my benefits, what happened, which was, was really good. My energy is good. I was very productive in this time. I had lots of great projects, as I mentioned, and digestion got very um, flushed through. The, the bowel is very, 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 very good. And also the, the level of gratification and the level of value you give to food increased. And I also feel that um, some, the thankfulness for the food definitely got, got up because it's always the same time, like every single year, also the, the taste buds improve. And after you after you done it, then it's a very good feeling to eat again. You're really conscious then, and also your body's just in a, in a more better state. And um, also before I was a very good health level, so I had no issues, I feel really, really good, but still I do it because I feel like every single year I get, get, get better and better with my health and even improve even though I'm also already feeling good and also my skin improved again so I feel like it's like baby skin <laughs> where whenever I touch something in my stomach everything it's, it's all like um, baby skin because yeah the body got really clean and yeah that that's regarding the benefits and of course when somebody does it the first time especially someone who has lots of health issues they experience much, much more. And for me, I already did so much work in the past few years. I did water fasting, all kinds of lengths up to 21 days. So three weeks, no food. Then as many juice fees up to 66 days. And of course, my body doesn't have to work on so many different things because he, he, he already did some, some work along the way in the past. So that's regarding this. Then some weaknesses are definitely that I lost a little bit Strength, as I mentioned, in the legs, but it's not a problem. Also, a little bit catabolic feeling sometimes. So, in two or three days, I had when I lay in bed in the evening, I was a little bit hungry, but <laughs> that's no problem. I do the detox program, and if you think like in comparison to your life or in comparison to your the year, it's nothing. <laughs> and afterwards, you la you laugh about it that you find it found it difficult to to do it, and it's just not a big issue to, to do it, especially if you have the right mindset to go into it with a winner mentality. Another thing which could be a little bit of weakness, as I said, was, was the sleep. I could improve it, but it was my, my thing, <laughs> not concerning detox program. It was just that I, it was not sufficient and it's so important for our health. I can definitely say it to get adequate high quality sleep every single day and very steadily that your body functions at a high level. So regarding juicing, I had, this was the last weakness, but it also was no issue because when you're really good organized and structured, this is not a problem like, like me, because I know what to do. But some weakness could be when somebody does it the first time, I always see it with my clients, you just need to have some structure in the beginning, some routines, and then it goes very easily, but to, to get to this level, it's some in the first few days, it's a little bit mm, can be sometimes in um, a new area, new territory you, you go into, 
And for that reason, yeah, you just you just learn along the way what is the best thing. And also regarding time, when you schedule it to juice to make the juices, you definitely need some time in there, especially if you want to do it for a longer period of time, because you then need enough juice and it can be four or five six seven liters depending on your activity level depending on your muscle mass and so many different factors and this also uh, consumes some time in your day and you definitely have to have to schedule some time for the juicing so that's regarding some small weaknesses but definitely the benefits are way higher than than the weaknesses and also the weaknesses are just new learnings and now regarding what further you've learnings i i also noticed I, I already did this, I, I already knew this before, but when you do um, the juice fast, I always found that the calories are more important than the protein in regarding to holding on to your muscle. So I can have lower protein, but when I have higher calories, I feel less catabolic, I feel more anabolic, so I feel that I'm more satisfied because calories are king in that regard and you don't lose muscle when you just drink enough juice and you give your body enough calories because then he doesn't want to go into gluconeogenesis to convert your muscle, muscle tissue into energy. And for that reason, yeah, drink enough juice, get in the calories your body needs, get in also the nutrients, very important, the green juices, and then this is not an issue. Then also the last learning, because I already had so many learnings in the last the years, I always do the tracking, I do very... Um, to everything and analytics and also have some documentation with my with me myself i document every single day and my clients so I already know so many things but they're always open to learn more that's very important but another learning was that it's so important to keep it very very simple and this is not something i take to do for myself so not, but i always do it with my clients for every juice day or water fasting just keep it so simple especially with the juices, two to three ingredients per juice. You can also do some mono juices and yeah, it's, it's not much needed and it's important to have some variety over the months, over the year, but not on a daily basis. On a daily basis, you can really keep it simple and very stick to simple juice recipes. So now I want to show you my body that you can see how it looks like this was directly taken the video after the detox program, so one day later. So now that I'm done with my detox program is the question how I continue. So what I will do regarding nutrition, regarding training, regarding further doing fasting. And I just want to give you also some insights regarding this. So I want to go with the flow now because I'm already at a good level. I know what to do. I know what my goals are. And for the first next two weeks, I said to myself, I just can go However, I feel like I can eat whatever I want. I can train whatever I like. And the great thing is when you are from, have you, when, when you have the good mindset, if you know what you want and you are at a good state mentally, then it's also easy when you go in the flow to do the right things. Because when somebody is new to this, has maybe also not the best habits, routines before the detox program, then it's very important to have a clear plan with a also some strict periods afterwards that you don't slip back to the bad routines but for myself I solved everything and I know what to do and even though I allow myself to eat everything I don't eat everything so I don't eat junk food I don't eat processed food I don't need it <laughs> it's just 
it's not necessary and I can also um, I, I, I don't think that a clean body craves it it's always like there's something an issue either emotionally or physically that your body still needs certain things or it wants them because he never needs it and I just want to go with the flow and eat whatever I want and I of course will do it very slowly when I in include more food groups because I right now enjoy very great the, the fresh fruits, especially self-harvested harvested from the orchards and also the vegetables, the salads, some protein back in again, hemp protein, pumpkin protein, some nuts and seeds, some spirulina. It's very, very good thing. And yeah, I will keep the diet very simple. I will want to stay first with high raw and I included some legumes in the last day. So I'm already um, finished it for a few days now, the detox program, and I also included some some legumes again, so some cooked fruits again, because last year I stayed completely raw five days, five months after the detox program. I even stayed complete for the whole time raw, but this time I wasn't completely going to the flow and I wanted to just do a high raw diet with some legumes in there, like lentils I had the last days, and also some tempeh. And that feels really good to get some more proteins back in and also the motivation for training has increased because more calories, more protein and more balanced diet back in. And yeah, this is what, how we continue. Regarding training, I also will go with the flow probably like three to five times a week. That's really good. And then I will settle um, later on. So I will do that in a strict, stricter period. But now the next two weeks, I just wanted to see to which thing my body gravitates towards and I just want to want to want to let it go because my body is now so clean and I want to don't um, to put it in the right thing because of my mind some want something I just want to go um, and really tune in and um, feel in what my body now really wants because I believe that through the detox program when you reset your system your body gives the right signals and this is also um, this is also um, what I will feel like in the next two weeks. So, yeah, and I'm also really looking forward to a big event here in Germany. It will be in Würzburg, the big mine event where lots of health-focused people come together, like-minded people, and we do like a big raw vegan buffet for three days is the, is, the, is the event. We do like a potluck and we also do bathing in the, in the mine river. We, we do like um, music together. We do like um, speeches. I will do also a speech there in Würzburg. There will be workshops. There will be dancing, also fire in the evening, great music. And yeah, it will be a really good event. And I will be there. And there will also be the buffet where I eat something. So I wanted to be completely finished with my detox program so that I can enjoy something there. Because the last few days, the last few years when I was there, I was always like doing some kind of cleanse <laughs> and I was not really eating a lot uh, from the buffet. But now I said to myself, it's okay. And yeah, so the next time will be really good. Just enjoying the summer, August is coming to enjoy the good fruit from the orchards, the mirabelles, the, the plums will come, the prunes, the apples, the, 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 pe the pears and I will keep you guys updated on everything. So I will do further videos here also in this English channel. And that for that reason, it's very important for me to know which topics you want to see. Write them down here in the comment section below what you want to see here on this channel. And I'm really curious and I can definitely make some videos about that regarding workout routine, nutrition, detoxification, building muscle, about mindset, lifestyle, stuff like that. Just write it all down below in the comment section. If you want to work with me to achieve your health and fitness goals, then just reach out to me, write me through my email, and then I can see how I best serve you, that we find a great solution for your individual situation. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, give the video a like to support the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, activate the bell notification to always stay updated and see more regular stuff like this. And I wish you guys all an amazing day. See you soon. Bye.